Uh, greetings, Pisces, and welcome to Ingrid's Insights. I hope you're all well, and let's dive right in. Pisces, sun, moon, and rising, and see what the cards have for you for the month of November of 2024. Well, uh, the first card is cut the cord. If there's anything, Pisces, that you need to let go of, or if there's anything restricting you or holding you back uh, that you know about, this month you're going to cut the cords and let it go. And that could bring up a lot of feelings, but you're going to have that a confidence that you can do this. And it's going to help you move into joy and contentment when you cut the cord on something that is holding you in some restriction or not uh, integrating uh, the values you truly want to uh, uh, res respect about yourself. So you're cutting the cords um, and that is gonna free you to have joy and contentment. Uh, and what is it that the ancestors want you to know is it's coming in with the sense of the she-wolf where you're needing to unleash the wild within you. That could be part of cutting the cords, uh, that something could be restricting you at this time, but you're gonna uh, cut the cords to unleash that wild in your energy and be brave and honest as the night. And when you are brave and honest, you uh, have that sword to cut through what is restricting you, limiting you uh, from your joy and contentment and then you're gonna let your self love and be loved and heal your heart, maybe from this a sense of needing to release an old relationship or something that's uh, keeping you restricted. And we'll get information on that, but thank you spirit guides for bringing us a clear, precise, and resonating uh, energy for uh, the sign of Pisces. And we begin the reading with a sense of going into the hermit mode. This is Virgo energy. You could need to go inward, learn about yourself. You maybe spent time alone recently uh, and needing to take this energy to love and be loved because you are learning about some uh, knowledge something important about a relationship or a cord in terms of a pattern you have that you're breaking. And you have to be brave and um, honest with yourself. And that might require you to unleash the wild within and go on this journey, follow your star uh, toward what is going to make you feel that joy and contentment. And it's going to uh, by going inward and this self-knowledge is going to bring you uh, victory, success. You might have been successful uh, in uh, what it is you have needed to learn about yourself. And as you find that success, it's going to bring you joy and contentment. And you are letting go of Pisces, of any fighting, of any mental conflict. Of, uh, and you have won. You come out victorious and you're letting any kind of uh, mental structures that have held you back, you've learned about yourself. You've got that knowledge now. And you know um, that you can be brave and honest about what it is that's going to make you feel joyous, feel contentment, um, feel loved. You're being honest now. You've gone inward to find that out, Pisces. And you um, also have connected to something that was just magical from the past, from childhood. You have two sixes, and when we have two sixes uh, um, in the tarot in a reading, it's saying, uh, uh, Pisces, you're on the right path. Uh, this is going to bring you a lot of success, happiness, victory, a uh, victory over maybe something that was going on in the past that you're cutting the cords on some past uh, situation, some way you felt about yourself, and you're cutting the cords and you're gonna be successful, victorious, uh, and you're also uh, gonna be successful at whatever you're working on. If you have a craft, a skill that you've been working on for many months and wondering, well, is this gonna be successful? Well, yes, it is gonna be successful and it's gonna bring you uh, back 
to maybe something you worked on in your past that was very much something you love doing and you're going to come back to it in a new way uh, successfully and you're going to receive this four of cups if there's anything uh, from the past or about your emotions that you are letting go of uh, you're uh, letting go of that boredom that apathy and receiving this ability to let the heart guardian uh, come in uh, this month for you Pisces and to um, love and let yourself be loved um, and to feel this innocence of childhood feeling of just that natural feeling of love of playfulness and to uh, work on your craft to know it's going to be successful and what you're going to uh, come into uh, is a sense of judgment well you're coming into uh, this sense of waking up to what is your true life now when you cut the cord you forgive the past you let it go you separate yourself from what no longer serves you and you're going to wake up to this new path now a new path in life come back from the dead you're maybe coming back uh, from uh, this time of being in the hermit mode and you're waking up to a new life and the new life is one where you're going to uh, receive uh, something from childhood from the past somebody could be coming back from your past or a past a love uh, that you're going to accept and receive this with success and it's coming with also a sense of you've worked hard on it and you were going to be successful. But you're going to be successful at um, this feeling of love and being loved. That's the most important thing now. And you're cutting your cords, a Pisces, with anything that's holding you back uh, from joy and contentment in the month of November because that's where you're going. And it's coming because you're going to, um, with the full moon, with this energy of uh, unleashing this wild within you in the month of November when the full moon uh, comes, you will feel that passion. And it's coming with uh, a sense of bravery uh, and honesty. And that's what you're going to express um, in the month of November. And it's going to come with a lot of a uh, sense of love and expression, but also with a passion. With the <clears throat> Queen of Wands, you're going to go after this uh, Pisces with fire, with uh, energy, with intuition. Whatever this work is you're doing has a psychic uh, component um, to it, and it's going to be successful in November, Pisces. And receive this new um, possibility and to uh, heal this energy from, the chi from childhood by taking this cup here. And you've learned from your past, you've gone inward uh, to follow that star toward this reawakening. This is the alignment now, uh, a new life, a rebirth. And it's coming with uh, that um, is <clears throat> amazing you're going to wake up this uh, month in November something and very important is going to set you on a new path because you're cutting the cords with the old and moving toward what you know is going to bring you your deepest joy and uh, contentment and you're going to be out in nature just receiving uh, this new uh, world and you're going to be passionate and not be afraid to express your wildness and to express your wild love and your a sense of being loved and that is going to take bravery and honesty and that is what i <clears throat> have for you pisces an amazing a month ahead and thank you for your subscriptions and thumbs up and most importantly please leave comments so i can move forward and connect to you more deeply in the month ahead see you next time bye bye